Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's holistic foot doctor. In this video, you'll be my patient who has an extremely deep corns and calluses. Sometimes the calluses develop into a corn, so it is very important to keep the calluses trimmed as often as you can. Corn pads at the pharmacy. You could, you could use it, but uh, sometimes you have to keep a close eye on it because it doesn't know how far to go. So I've seen people literally like have this like hole created and they get blistered and then they have a lot of problems. So you could use it um, or I can burn it for him. But the problem is see the, how the toe is kind of sitting on the, like on the bone. He, he needs to be sitting on like over here where the meat is, but he's on the side. That's why he developed corn because there's no padding there. This is a common problem when people have um, hammer toes, we call them hammer toes, when the toes are not straight and they're kind of bent down. And then, and then the meat is, he's not walking on this area, he's walking on this area. And that's what's causing the problem. Um, do you want me to burn it? When I, when I burn it, it doesn't hurt, but uh, it may hurt a few days later or it, it may cause a blister, Kevin. It's the same thing. I use a, a lot stronger acid than uh, than you know what's available at the uh, drugstore. But the problem is, it's it's the toe that's not sitting properly. It's it's off to the side. So even if we get rid of that corn, it may come back. That's the problem. How quickly does it uh, become painful after I clean this out? Uh, every now and then, it, it just don't. It'll come back. Uh, Maybe you sit and steal for a while. What is it? I'm sorry? Usually, it don't happen when I start walking. It happens when I'm sitting still. Oh, I see. But actually, your corn's not that deep. So actually, there's a little pad I can give you to lift this up like this so you're sitting more at the bottom. Right. You can try that. Because your corn's not that deep for me to burn. Okay. Yeah, I usually see a core inside, but I don't see it here. So if you want, we can try that little padding underneath it. Okay. You'll let it sit, you know, like above like this, so that you're walking right here at the bottom of the toe rather than like this area. Yeah, so you don't have a like really deep corn that I usually see. Okay, so I don't even recommend burning it now because it's not that, doesn't have that core, you know, because it, you have a little rock sitting in there with the corn but you don't have that really not, not terrible so maybe we can try the little pad there okay 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 and this one on the other hand you may have a corn in there so let's see hi it's me again hope you've been enjoying this video so far if you have leave the word corns and calluses in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button well, you won't burn it for sure this one has a corn actually but you don't feel the pain so I don't recommend you going through pain if you don't have the pain. Right. But you can see that in the uh, little bit of core right there, a little bit darker circle, that's the corn. But if it's not painful, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give you pain to take away the pain if you don't have the pain. Right. Yeah. So do it only when you have a lot of pain. Because if I put acid on there, then it's going to cause blister, and then it's going to take that whole thing out, but it's going to be pretty tender. So as you can see on this one, there's a little corn, little shadow of a little round circle there. That's the corn. But I think, I think you should use the duct tape. Did I tell you to use the duct tape? That really helps to prevent this from growing because duct tape, as you know, it suffocates the area and right. doesn't allow the oxygen to get in because anything that grows in your body requires oxygen. So uh, we, we use it for warts and corns and calluses. That really helps to mitigate the growth of this these things here. Yeah, It's a little deep, but I don't, the core is not that distinct or round circle is kind of a like a not that deep we usually see a round circle that looks like a little rock and those are really painful so that's this is why he's not in a lot of pain on this one 
but you can see it's kind of flat. So I don't recommend burning that one either. So let's go over here. Now you, this one is pretty thick. Let's see if this one has a core inside. This one's not painful either, Kevin? No. no? Yeah. So, yeah, this one has a little bit of core in there, but it doesn't, doesn't have a distinct, like, that round circle. He has some. You can kind of see it vaguely, but it's not that deep, so that's why it's not painful, this one. So, yeah, we can just keep it down, and I'll, you know, usually get some duct tape, which is easy enough, so that will keep, right. keep the growth kind of down, you know? Even that toe, you know, you can wrap that right. toe with the duct tape and then that really prevents it from growing. So that's something you can do as well. So these are kind of calluses here. As you can see, it doesn't have that core, like a corn inside, which could be extremely painful here. So I think this is pretty good the way it is. Here's another one kind of similar, but I don't think that one has a corn either. So we're just going to clean it out a little bit and that should do the job there yeah this one's not bad as you can see it didn't but this is towards the same issue he's kind of turning to the side and that's what's causing this to be a little bit and these are just calluses so just kind of keep it down because these calluses can develop into a corn calluses are a little bit sore but not painful painful but if if the sweat cannot come through because of the callus formation, then it can cause a corn to develop because and you cannot sweat through this callus area. We have a lot of sweat glands, about a quarter million sweat glands about them, both feet, and then it needs to sweat, but it cannot sweat because of the callus, and then it grows into the area and forms a little rock called the corn. So those are really painful. So we try to keep the callus down all the time so that it uh, doesn't cause the... Uh, corn to develop so we recommend people to keep the calluses down so that's it today um, so nothing really terrible we, we have to keep these calluses down so that it doesn't cause any problem but overall he's doing pretty good so there you have it thank you Calvin okay thank you for watching this video as you can see in this video calluses can sometimes develop into painful corns if not trimmed down often so let's keep the calluses trimmed well to prevent the corns from coming. Until then, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.